Oh wow, I'm getting American Werewolf in London vibes. In Wales. Can't say wet and windy Wales because it's not. So I'm back in the loggerheads area but I'm not doing the loggerheads walk. I'm going up something today called Mole Findeg, I believe it's called. Probably slaughtering the pronunciation but the stone so from the walk I did last week up Mobama. It's across the road from Loggerheads. There's a little lay-by by the path that I start on. It's free. But if you get stuck, Loggerheads car park's just down the road, but you will have to pay. Now, Mole Findeg is less of a climb than Mobama. Um but by all accounts, it was supposed to be part of the quarry that we'll sort of walk around as well. Um, but the residents of Marshaffin, again, apologies, I'll put the town up. They, um, they all got together and they raised a little over £450,000 to buy this hill um, and now it's part of the Clwydian range and the uh, Dee Valley area of natural beauty. If the mist lifts it's meant to be quite a decent view from the top. So I'm starting from the bottom <laughs> as you do on hill walks, well done Mike. Um, up skirting round to the side of Mole Findeg, then I'll climb Findeg, see what I can see, and I'm going to push on around something called Burnley Hill. Burley Hill. <sighs> My memory's dreadful. Um, there's another quarry up there as well. So I'm going to go up around that and back down through Marsh Avenue or whatever it's called back to the car all in all about six point something miles uh, three hours or so what I might find on the top of these hills are ponies because um, apparently they've got wild ponies up here to help keep the heathland in check so let's go see Across that field, you get to that gate there. There's a path that goes up that, and this isn't signposted. 
we come through that gate all the way across the farmer's land through the kitchen gate carry on American werewolf in London vibes. Don't stray from the path, Mike. somewhere is my old fin dog. I was going to say when you get to this point here you're pretty much at the bottom of my old fin dog. I'll show you where the point is but <laughs> you can't see anything. There is a marker that tells you go up a hill but other than that I'd say look out for this point, this obvious point, but at this point there's a little sign and there's some electric cables, telegraph lines. But, <laughs> oh well, let's go and see what we can't see further up. This is the view, view <laughs> this is the viewpoint. Super tip from Mike. If you're not confident map reading, don't come in the fog. It appears sketchy. I mean, this could be worse. It could be down to like here. But we're skirting around a quarry and you've come for a view, so there are drops. So maybe pick a lovely day and do this walk. And it'd be, that, that'd be my advice anyway. Come on a nice day. I'm sure the views from up here are absolutely amazing. It's just today, they're just not. But what I will say is if I do fall off the cliff and die, whoever finds this camera, it's been filmed in 4K edit it in 4k and make my death look amazing. Thank you. 
see, it just goes to show how misty it's been. I couldn't have been any more than about 50 meters, 40 meters from those horses, and you can just about make them out. And as they're wild horses, I wasn't going any closer. This is their territory, leaving too. All right, I think must be almost time for a cup of tea. So what is this? This route skirts around a place called Colomendi. And if you know, you know. And if you don't know, it's a place where kids come um, and experience the great outdoors. Usually kids don't normally get the, the chance to experience the great outdoors. And whilst I've been skirting around it, you kind of come back to it a couple of times. You can hear the kids having a laugh and really enjoying themselves doing team building and things and they're all cheering each other on. We need more of that. Adventure starts here. Not for me, it doesn't. We've now come full circle. With that group heading off. That's where I went first thing this morning. So I'm right back where the main route started. So now, all downhill, back to the car park. Look at the bloody weather now. You can see the tops of the mountains and everything. <sighs> Doesn't matter. We still had a decent walk. Breaking the cardinal rule. Never film in direct sunlight. Anyway, mist or no mist, I'm really glad I came. Because I wasn't going to. May have come for the walk. I may not have necessarily filmed it. Self doubt, imposter syndrome. Is anyone interested? Does anyone watch? Do you know what? When I really thought about it, I appreciate every subscriber I've got. Because it actually takes you to do something to actually subscribe. So I do appreciate that. Would I still come walking if no one was watching? Yeah, I would. I would have still video it. Yeah, I would. I enjoy it. So, imposter syndrome put in the draw. People watch. Great. If they enjoy, even better. Do you know what? Who's really enjoyed it? Me. I think deep down. That's all that really matters. What the 
channel has inspired me to do. And for that, I'd like to thank you lot for watching because it does motivate me to get out and walk. Morning. Talk to strange men. Yeah, so it encourages me to get out, drag myself out on whatever weather on a Sunday morning, put my walking boots on and get out into the rather wonderful countryside. So, despite all your letters of complaint, I am going to continue making these films. Because if nothing else, it might even inspire just one person just to go walking. And if that person's me, I need it. So, probably going to end here. You've already seen me walk up here and you know what the car looks like. So, until the next time, thanks for watching.